know, this is exciting for me. There's something about a construction site. You got concrete being poured, you got rebar, you got sheetrock. Then you won't be upset when we do our house. Hi. Laura. Ed, it's nice to see you. Good to see you again. Hi, How welcome. you doing? Just fine. My name is Laura Scandera Trombley, and I'm the president of Pitzer College. We are a liberal arts college specializing in the social sciences, economics, as well as international programs. I'm very excited about meeting Ed and, and having him here as Pitzer College's guest. Orange is so not my color. I believe in making visitors happy. Armed with her pink hard hat, we went around the site and saw the many different features that they're doing, all of them environmentally sound. We decided that we were going to try and create the most sustainable residence halls that had been built to date, and at the same time, make sure that these would be residence halls we could afford to build. This has all come from the building site because we're on an alluvial fan. We have lots and lots of rocks here, and so I see them all as free building materials. I'll say, recovered from this site with the excavation. That's right. Amazing. We walk upstairs, we're seeing all the dorms. These are combined usage residence halls where we have student rooms as well as study rooms. We'll have an art gallery in this particular building. Art as, gallery? Yeah, wow. an art gallery. Wow. Oh, it's incredible. And this will actually be the most sustainable building for a liberal arts college in the country. One thing I really liked, something I remember as a kid, Dutch doors. Just like Holland. You mean a little, hi, can I help you? They wanted to have the Dutch doors because what we try and do at the college is build community and mm. this gives students the opportunity yeah, sure. for casual drop-ins. It also helps with cross-ventilation, which right. is why we have window above. Sort of to keep that indoor-outdoor feeling. I'd like to get one here. I don't know who's walking by. I don't know who I would see but it'd be nice to have a Dutch door. Residence halls were like this when I was in college. Not when I was in college. Each room is different from any other room that is part of this project, whether a particular room will have a window ledge or it will have a different color sink or a different color carpet. We wanted everything to be just slightly different. The kids themselves had contributed to the design. They wanted to have highly sustainable rooms, so that's why you're standing on stained concrete. It's completely wow. recyclable. All recycled fiber, honey. Very good. Hey, I didn't have these kind of decisions when I was in a dorm in college. No. It was a decision was, do you put the keg inside the room or outside? That was about it. And they have a feature that I want on my home. For all of our windows, we have sensors built into the frame. So when the air conditioning is on, if the student opens the window, it immediately shuts it off. I have someone, I don't need to mention names, who will on occasion turn on the air conditioning with the window open. I'd like a switch to cease that wasteful practice right away. That's what I'd like. I'm very happy to show you the bathroom for our student rooms. It really is wow. spacious. And two sinks, honey. You jealous? Two sinks. Two. So you have two sinks, his and hers. Those kids were going to be getting a bigger bathroom than I have in my house. We have low flow shower, low flow toilet. I should show you the toilet. <laughs> oh, this is the right toilet. Oh, my gosh. It looks just like the one we have at home. With the two settings, full or the half. The two-button flush system toilet is very easy to install. It installs like any toilet in America, and you can save hundreds and hundreds of gallons a year by installing that where you have the choice for half flush and full flush. This is actually quite a nice room. It's really <laughs> large. Okay. Uh, you Maybe. can spend some time in there. Hey, this is locked. Let I got to get the uh, subcontractor, honey, the guy who put in the lock. It's, uh... Let me... <laughs> All right, let me out. This isn't funny. I, I actually feel a special connection with the Begley's, knowing that our residence halls will have the same toilet as the toilet in their home. So I think, I think there's kind of a personal, special connection between the two of us. We had a great time at Pitzer College, and I really got a, the sense that this would be a really wonderful place to send Hayden one day.